to another IC3D tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the cellophane wrap feature inside of our template library. Now, to begin with, the cellophane wrap is going to need a model to wrap around. So in today's video, I'm going to be using this toilet paper I found in our model library, and this is what I'm going to be wrapping. To begin with, you want to select your model inside of the object editor, or just click on it in the scene. From there, grab your cellophane wrap and just drag it on top of the model. This should open the cellophane wrap template window. Now please note the art width is not adjustable as it's completely dependent on how large your object is, so make sure that that object is to scale so your art width can match that artwork width from your artboard. Now the art height is adjustable, but for today I'm not going to be adjusting it as it hugs the top very nicely. From here we've got the template layout. This is going to tell us uh, kind of how our uh, product is coming out, where the seams are, so in this case the seam at the bottom where it folds in, and the seam at the top. And of course the small seal on the right side. Now we can adjust this seal using our overlap size, overlap direction, either left over right or right over left, and the seam position. Now you can use the number value or you can actually physically see the seam, it's right here on the side by default, as you move it around. As you can see now, I've moved that seam to the front. I'm actually going to put that seam back on the side and leave it as is. From here, our fold edge angle. This is correspondent to these edges up here. So at 30%, if I were to, say, adjust this all the way up, you're going to see that those fold angles at the top will get adjusted accordingly. Now, of course, by default, it is set to 30. And I actually quite like the look of this, so I'm going to leave it as is as well. The depth between the folds will be how much uh, depth is actually between those folds when you fold it. So how kind of uh, much air space is inside of those folds when they kind of come back together. And of course the fold edge to place on top, that would be the front or the back. This is just dependent what fold edge is uh, kind of on top of the other, the front side or the back side. I'm going to leave it again as the front. And of course if you ever need to uh, reset to defaults, if anything looks weird or, you know, you've just inputted the wrong thing, you can always just click this to get right back to uh, kind of where you started. Now from there, the cellophane wrap template is actually quite simple, so there's not too much to talk about. So let's just go ahead and add this to the scene and let's see how it looks. And there it goes. It's looking good on top of the model. And of course, since this is a separate model, we are able to just move this away or kind of adjust this however we need. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, reset that back to zero. And now from here, we also have artwork that's again corresponding with our cellophane. So let's go ahead and open up that art, hitting our AI button. And I've actually got some artwork that I'm just going to paste on. And that's just our simple IC3D logo. And I'll just put it on the back side as well. And as you can see, all of the seal guides and everything that uh, we saw in our template window is all here so that we can uh, use it as a good guide and reference to align our art. Opening up the IC3D Render V5 to update that back to IC3D. That's going to up to date. And then heading back over and taking a look how it were coming out. That's looking good. Now, by default, the OpenGL view, this view we're looking at here, is a little too shiny, so I like to just drop that shininess just so I can see the artwork a little better. As again, our refraction is really what's going to uh, kind of uh, adjust this cellophane to how it will look in the ray tracer. Now, of course, let's go ahead and just take a look at that ray tracer. Swapping our views, hitting start. And then while that generates out, I'm just going to go ahead and flip this over to a white background as well. And of course, adding a little bit of shadows. Now, I also like to adjust my cellophane wraps 
actual material, as by default I'm never quite happy with how it looks. So let's just go ahead and go into the material here. Just going to move this over. And I'm just going to change this off of a substrate metal. And I find that a plastic or a glass with a low refraction or a plastic with a high refraction has a great chance of looking like a nice uh, kind of premium plastic. So I'm going to go with plastic with, again, leaving that refraction quite high. As you can see, that's going to come in. And by default, the diffuse color is a little set to gray. I actually like to bump that up to white if we're going for a very transparent color. And in that case, there it is. You can even see that shadowing off of the uh, IC3D logo on the back side. That's looking great. Maybe drop the refraction just a little bit. There we are. And then, of course, if we need any roughness or anything else like that, we can add that in now. I'm going to hit Save. And I'm just going to adjust my lighting editor. As, uh, I like to use HDRI maps. And I'm going to pick Peppermint Power, one of my personal favorites. And as you can see, that just makes the color and everything just really start to pop on that model. Thank you so much for joining me, Adam Chop, on this quick IC3D tutorial on how to use the cellophane wrap tool. Now, it's a super fun tool, and it's one of our newer ones, so let me know how you like it. And, of course, if you have any questions, please comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next or anything else like that. Thanks so much.